How's it going guys? Welcome back to another video on the channel. Now, before we start, don't laugh at my haircut, all right? The barber went a bit too short. Um, I said I wanted a high fade. High fade's about up to there. She went up to friggin' that there. So, don't laugh at that, please. Um, but do laugh at uh, my reaction of the game that we are about to play, and it is called Murder House by, again, Puppet Combo. So I literally know nothing about this game. Again, I try, the games I play, I try to avoid watching them on YouTube because that ruins the effect uh, when you come to play them. So I have no idea about this. Um, if it's anything like Nun Massacre, I'm in for an absolute horror fest because that game, honestly, I will go back to it, but I need I needed a break from that, a psychological break, because it's the most terrifying thing I think I've ever played. Oh, that's, that's, oh. That's quite nice to play with it actually being nice. We ain't playing rental for Christ's sake. See, see that's nice as well. Not playing black and white. I think the v, v, VHS is just a bit too grainy. PSX or 16mm. Now we're going to stick with PSX uh, because I said brightness brightness will turn up because these games are always ridiculously unbright. Dim. We'll play the prologue. Whatever the hell the prologue is. Oh, honestly, if this is like Nun Massacre, I'm going to need a... I'm going to be up on a bloody psych ward. It's the sound effects that get me most in horror games, I think. Puppet Combo presents. Okay, kid, you're next. Oh, it's me. Oh, I don't like these controls. I've got one animal. I've really got to sit on his lap. Come on, kid, get your ass up there. Smile, kid. Say cheese. Cheese. Oh. Happy Easter. Just a photo booth. I'm out of change. Oh, I'm in, I'm in the photo booth. Um, guys, these controls are absolutely, they've had it. Mum? Is them all closed? Right, so that, so that button does nothing. You've got forward and turn on the same analogue. Are they taking the mic? Let me see if I can change this. Right, I've had to change it to first person. Uh, because the controls are just ridiculous. I've got X to run. Um, okay. Well, I'm obviously in the mall. Oh, I've got to go and... No, I won't change the sensitivity. Actually, I'm going to change the controls again. I do apologise about this. How big is this bench? I, I mean, I know I'm a kid, but... It's a huge bench. I crouch. A security gate looks like I can crawl under it. How do I do that? Hello? My name's Justine. Just, oh, Justin. Not Justine. Oh, you just go up to it and press it. I think they could have added a bloody crouch button right oh the floor's going a bit weird is my mum not a bit worried about me that that I'm missing oh sugar that's where we t it sure is empty now oh my god Another security gate, this one is locked. Thank you. Oh, I bet I do something with this. 
The key. Will you take the key? Yes. Oh. I can use the invent. Okay. Got a key. I wonder what it opens. Indeed. What about this door in front of me? Yeah. Use it on this door. Okay, so use the key. I can't use this here. Right, fine. Right, well, let's go up and look at the spooky thing. The Easter Bunny's chair. I guess he went home for the night. What's that noise? I'm getting chills, guys. I don't like this. Oh, God. Goosey goosebumps again. Oh, missing person. Randy Martinez, missing from Monroe. Randy. Somebody else. Mildred Armstrong. What's he carrying there? Wouldn't it be creepy if those are actually missing children? I th right, I'm stuck on the first friggin' bit. This always happens. What, Nad. I don't know where the hell Nad is. Jesus Christ. It's a bit dark. And I don't like that. There's got to be a way out. Yeah, well, keep running and stop saying this to yourself. Hello. Oh. What's that noise? Daniel Gray, eight years old. That's a terrible haircut. It's like the opposite of mine. They haven't shaved anything off him. Oh god. Was that was that animation necessary? We've looked at him. Authorized personnel only. Can't get in there. It's locked. This tunnel's a bit ominous, isn't it? It's locked. Right, may have to turn this door animation off. Because it's a bit... Oh my good god. Why am I in here? Oh my god, I can hide in them. Oh, I don't like that. So you... Oh, stop it. I've got to do that, have I? That's awful. No, right. Oh, God. That means something's going to go bad. So this bunny guy is obviously going to come screaming down this corridor at me, I'm going to have to go and run and hide in the toilets. Does my key work? No, nope, I've lost the key. <laughs> Shh! 
shit. Oh, I don't like that camera. Yeah, toilets, that's right. I'm running. Is this me screaming? So I sound like a girl. Here I come, here I come, here I come, here I come. Where's he? Is he there? Is he even coming? Yes. Yes, he is. Right, uh, I'm going to choose... Uh, I'm going to be... Uh, 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 that one. Shit! Wrong button! Wrong! Wrong! What is it to look? Is it that? Okay, it's that. Oh my god! If he chooses my one, that's complete BS. Oh, maybe I'll get out here now. No, no, no. I'll just go. Just. It's locked! <laughs> oh, I didn't expect that. Why has he locked it? Has he gone out the other door? Annoying. Oh, I can look. Right, he's going. Okay. Out we go. Right, he checked this one, didn't he? Why the hell is it silent? Where's he gone? I'm just gonna... Right. Maybe, maybe he's hiding in one of these and I can look down. Can you imagine if his face was next to me? I would cack. Right, he's gone this way. It's gonna go, it's gonna be the other side of this door, it's gonna go. Oh crap. A broken vending machine. A vending machine. There should be a peak, oh my good god. All these corridors. Oh, I've got to remember a pin code. Oh, it's in there. Will you take the flashlight? Yes. E? Right, nice. This noise is awful and so is this. Close quartered piece of crap. Oh, hello. Yes, I will take the screwdriver. You took a screwdriver. What was that noise? Um, TV. TV. Oh, that's better. Much better. He's not hiding in the shower, is he? Oh, you're taking the piss, aren't you? Was this in here? Oh my. I've got to close my eyes. Oh, they're all empty. Okay. A normal shower. Nothing in it, is there? Uh, where's the drain for the others? Oh, maybe they go under the wall. Right, let's go out here. How did I unlock that? Right, I've got a, I'm looking for a code.
Right, okay. Anyone know the code? 42135. Nope. Your guess is as good as mine. Right, so it may be something in here. Aha! There's something below the drain cover. I can't reach it. Well, I have a screwdriver for that, Justin. Oh, a key. I took the key. Don't you dare. See, I'm always scared. Where the friggin' hell is he? It's gotta be for this, right? Are you kidding me? Where the hell else do I need a key for? Oh, the key, it says 1024. Well, that don't mean anything. One, no, one, two, four. Well, it's one, two, three, four, five. Where's the zero? Am I, am I reading it wrong? No, one, zero, two, four. Is there a reset button? No friggin way did I just do that. What was that? Five, five, three, four. Well, what, how, how are you supposed to know that? Oh, there's a janitor there. Is it something to do with the posters? Bloody hell, he's slender, isn't he? Kill me. Don't trust him. Whoa, calm down. How did you get in here? It's Jack Septicai. So sweet that I got locked in. But that doesn't matter. The Easter Bunny has gone crazy. I'm not making it up. He's been chasing me. We have to call the police. Hold on. There's a phone in here. Let me go check it out, and you wait here. Well, he's nowhere. I'll take care of him. You'll be safe here. I'll lock the door. Thank you, Janitor Jack. No, wait. Oh, thanks. Jack Septicai, that's not a good... Oh, he was quick out that door, wasn't he? Oh, we're going to see him getting murdered or something. What's in here? There ain't a phone in here, the liar. Yeah, here we go, look. Where's that radio? He was there then, did you see that? The lights, I better hide. I can only hi- I can't- Yes, hide under the desk. It's so quiet. Oh God. Oh God, is that into my room? Janitor Jack? He's here. <laughs> Sugar! Oh, that got me ticker going. Woo! What's my heartbeat? I've actually got my watch on. Doesn't say. Maybe I'm dead. Right. 1988. Ten years before I was born. 
typical horror movie cliche. Like we're here? We, bought, we bought this place really cheap. This place? I can't believe I went from the news desk to this. You're lucky you had this after the incident with the poodle. <laughs> that could have happened to anyone. All right, let's get started. We don't have all day. Correct, we don't. The hell is the real estate agent? Who? I gave him 50 bucks to let us shoot this story. There's his car. Where the hell is he? Hey, Inter. What's your name again? Emma. Emma, says Emma. Yeah, Emma. Make yourself useful and find us a way in. Am I going to be playing as Emma? This is literally the worst way... This is literally the worst day to start this internship. I pulled the tendon at track practice and I don't think I can run for very long. Oh, great. Once my stamina drains, I'll have to take a break and walk it off before I can run again. Right, okay. Don't ask me. I'm just the camera guy. Oh, sorry. I was asking your feet then. Right. Well, it's obviously not in through the front door, is it? No. So I'm going around the... Can I not jump off? Seriously? Is there another way in? Aha! That's going to be it. Right. And I'm going to turn the door transition off again. I can't believe I'm breaking into a house. It sure is creepy in here. Door transition is off. Well, I suppose that was a window that we entered. Christ almighty. Um, this is... It's obviously up the door. Aha. Into the house. And then at the front door, you've unlocked it. Good work, you got in. Did you see that goddamn real estate agent? Uh, I wasn't really looking, to be honest. No, the house is empty. That bastard. I should have given you the 50 bucks. Ew, it's musty. Chop, chop, it's time to hustle. Grab all the equipment in the van and get it in there. We're going to set up. Right, okay, so this game sets the setting up, uh, setting up the mood and everything a lot more than Nun Massacre. Nun Massacre, it was just walk to creepy location, get jumped on by a nun 24-7. Grab one of the cases. This one, we've got a bit of story going. And some normal actions for me to do. Where do you want it, love? I hope this hard work pays off. You've literally picked up a suitcase from the van. Uh, you know what this reminds me of? Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Because at the start of that film, there was a news cruise. A news crew. Finish. Never want to do this again. She's a lazy ass cow. Uh, yeah, there was a news crew and they all got eaten or chopped to bits. The lights are set, but there's no damn power in this house. Oh, no power in this house, damn it. I better tell someone. Mouthful. Turn all those lights and let's get the powers out. Powers out, thank you. We'll turn it back on. I don't know how. Figure something out. I mean, he's got a point. She's pretty useless. Some kitchen drawers, should I search them? A bunch of junk. We took the pencil. Wow. Um, oh, the doorknob is missing. Right, okay, so I know where I'm going now. Obviously, the power is going to be <coughs> in the creepy ass basement. There it is. An average fuse box. Wait, I think a fuse is missing. Oh, I could have told you that. 
need a flashlight though. I need a flashlight. Wait, you think I'm going to hide in there? I mean, fair play if you can. A greasy fridge, there's no way I'm going to open it. Fuse, fuse. She want to hide in every frigging cabinet, does she? Right, well, I couldn't find anything downstairs. So why not try upstairs? Hello? Oh my good god. It, it's locked. Haha. The TV is no power. Yes, we understood that. I was surprised she didn't say, can I hide in it? Oh, great. Looks like a fuse. I hope it's the right size. Indeed. Just junk. All junk. What's, well, how do I crouch? Is, can I get that? That looks like I can get it. Oh, will you take the pencil? God, why am I collecting pencils? My John Wick. Sugar! Come here. Where'd you go? Nowhere I can open this without a key. Oh, the little cows playing hide and seek. Let's go and put this bloody fuse in, then we can turn the lights off, then it'll be all be nice and happy and sunny. Yeah, you'd not stand here doing soddle whilst I'm the one traipsing around. An average fuse box. Yeah, I've got... Oh, sorry. I've got it. But hey, the power's back on. Is something inside this dryer? The door is jammed shut, so it's probably a head or something. Hey, the power's back on. Let's yeah. get started. It was me. All right, good. Everything's set, Tom? Yep. Lighting's ready. The camera's rolling. Hey, Gary. I was thinking we could... I don't pay you to think, Dana. I pay you to read the goddamn script. I hate this job. God, he's an ass. Well, pull it together. Ready, everyone? All right. Action! Action. Anthony Smith, more commonly known as the Easter Ripper. The mere mention of his name sends shivers up the spines of parents across the country. Yes. His horrible murder spree leaving lives shattered and families ripped apart. Tonight we'll go inside his vacant home where 11 innocent children spent their final moments in agonizing pain and terror. I didn't realize we were here. Untouched since those horrible crimes eight years ago, some say his spirit still haunts the home till this day. Great. I'm yes. Dana Turner, and this is a News 9 special report. Silenced tears inside the home of serial killer Anthony Smith. Cut. Let's take a break. I saw one of the kids. Gary, I think I want to redo the line where... This isn't 60 Minutes, Dana. It's channel fucking nine. We're not here to win a Pulitzer. Fine. I'm going to find a place in this gross house to fix my makeup. She's gonna die. 